Jesus. Okay, now I'm going to read that because I heard something about the Prescott. Where is the source of Arcadia Bay once acted as a lovely gateway to the Pacific and beyond? Now locals and tourists face the sad, surreal image of gray whales that have inexplicably swam to land and to their doom. The whale pods were spotted early morning on Wednesday, October 9th, and within a few hours, at least half a dozen were dead or dying on the shore. Smartphone footage does not reveal any unusual ocean conditions or excessive pollution. Meanwhile, ecologists and marine biologists from across the country are carefully studying samples from the whales in the environment. The Prescott Foundation is vowed to provide extra research funds given the local scope of the eco mystery. Okay. We Rachel Amber that. is even missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. All right. Hey. To think that our destiny is linked to goddamn car keys. Hey, man. Hey, William. Am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. He's a kind man. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Hmm. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. Oh, I thought it was going to tell be. me where the we stuff buy was. buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but I, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. His bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. The price is always right. Get it? No? I don't know how to say this, but I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her and be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, <laughs> it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Crazy weather, Rachel Amber, Prescott family. Uh, are they cool in this reality? The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question. Okay. Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't oh, she doesn't work at the diner it. anymore? I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber. Oh, yes. Yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with I you. I hope again. I didn't mess with her head like by it's not the last time. And please keep me from these bills whenever you want. No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. Choices of food coupon boss. Mm. Bonjour. That's great. They finally went to Paris. I got a memory thing. Damn. 
This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. Jeez. Probably monthly, too. They gave Chloe their giant, expensive HDTV, and they use her shitty tube television. To think that our destiny is linked to goddamn car keys. That. Yep, that's the same graffiti from before. Oof. All right, so I'm gonna get the morphine. And then I'm gonna talk to the dad. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. And hope uh, he'll say something. She has addicted or not. Dead. Just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. Heavy credit card. Through the recent state and federal costs, we regret to inform you that your health insurance no longer covers Chloe's. <sighs> so fucked up. It's gonna anger me. People that profit off of other people's misfortune and misery are uh, are scum. They're scum. Like I understand you need to make like everything cost everything, but I'm talking profit, like lots of profit. It's awful. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. Nothing here. And you know, no, th there are circumstances like when I say profit, I mean people that are just like heartless like that. But there, you know, there's many doctors out there that are helping people fight for stuff, but they they still have to get bathroom paid. Bathroom looks almost the same. Unfortunately, but they're actually trying medicine. to do good in the world. A good, I say wood world. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. I'm gonna How's go talk going, to the dad for sure. Funny. I think I look older. Probably aging you a little bit, huh? Let's turn that off. We can. We can save their electricity can go in this room what's in here now empty a blue butterfly I'm sure this is a total coincidence Not all crossed out anymore. I guess we stopped growing up together. Man. I'm Gata. still overwhelmed by this new reality. I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again, and who am I to judge? God, this game! It's relentless! I never heard much about William's brother. Sorry for not staying in touch since the accident. Work has been piling up and I'm being sent to Salt Lake City to oversee a new parking lot. You have to go where the work is these days. I wish I could have sent you a bigger check, but you know the story. Money is nobody's favorite thing. Maybe I'll see you next spring for a visit. Kiss Chloe and Joyce for me. Hang in there, Billy. Your brother. Oh. Brother is helping. Shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. Toys? 
I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Sorry, I couldn't read that one. Uh, my eyes are kind of welling up here. This is the bedroom. I have nothing in here. Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. Look at them. They have no idea what's in their future. Isn't that Warren? William and Chloe? Who is this? That looks like Warren. Who's... W William is her dad's name. I'm confused. That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. William is trying so hard. He's still awesome. Mm. Oh no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's injury really was. Chloe's respiratory system is showing signs of rapid weakening. This accounts for her recent anemia and loss of breath. As a doctor, I am committed to her well-being, but I want you to understand the reality, the reality that respiratory failure is common in people with severe spinal injuries. Your daughter is one of the bravest, strongest patients I've ever had, and I'm proud to be working with her. I just want you as parents to prepare for any and all possibility. I believe Chloe should also be able to made aware of her changing condition. If you would like to discuss this further, you have my contact details. Watch, I'm gonna get downstairs and she's gonna be not it's breathing. It's good for Chloe to stay in touch with her friends. Joyce is already a super mom. Huh. Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. Good morning, Max. Ah, oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years, after the accident. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been again? such a hero through oh. all this. Chloe and I are lucky to have him. Chloe and William seem like they still get along so good. Yeah, those two are closer now more than ever. Chloe will actually listen to William while she usually ignores me. Oh, it's so cute when they gang up on poor old me. You rule, Joyce. Shit, things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Eco Havoc. Oh, that's probably the, the whales. Plus, you guys have to work, too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two whales. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. 
So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco-havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. Who helps Chloe out when you guys are at work? We have a series of revolving nurses and caretakers. <laughs> Chloe still causes trouble, even if she can't move. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... Uh, she... Do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Choice. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family, and we'll always be one, no matter what. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. Mm. Mm. I like this. Apparently, the only thing that hasn't changed is this view. Right. We learned a memory. Talk to Dad. No, no, not they that. They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. Hello again, William. Nice to see you back. So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not me, because I can't speak French. But it was a great experience, especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there. But that's not practical anymore. It's not fair, Max. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last. I hope she's not addicted to morphine. Hey, Chloe. Finally, uh, give me the blue pill. Mm -mm. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy and painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me, I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse, but you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that'd be the more. You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Let's do this, girlfriend. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god, look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. 